Hello everyone, I'm happy to present my communication about a quantitative approach to credit portfolios losses using mutual resolution analysis. So we start about uh, an introduction and methodology, then research and discussion. Managing credit portfolio losses is a key challenge for financial institutions worldwide. The ability to predict and mitigate uh, credit risk is a critical to financial stability. In this context, the use of wavelets and multi-resolution resolution analysis is emerging as a powerful and innovative approach to better understand measures and manage these risks. Wavelets, sale mathematical tools allow credit data to be broken down into different scales of resolutions, providing unparalleled insight into emerging trends and fluctuations in risk. This meta-resolution analysis enables financial situations to, be, to better anticipate potential losses, optimize capital allocation, and comply with the regulatory requirements more effectively. How meta-resolution analysis are applied to credit portfolio losses management? Credit risk can be quantified by assessing the probability of default PD, loss given default LGD, and exposure at default EAD for each exposure within a credit portfolio. By combining these factors, the potential losses given the default of the portfolio can be calculated allowing credit risk to be quantified. First, probability of default PD is a measure of the likelihood that a borrower or counterparty will be enabled to meet its payment obligations according to the agreed terms. To compute PD, we use Merton model. The Merton model, also known as the Merton Structural Model, is a financial framework that calculates the probability of a company defaulting based on its capital structure, asset value, and other factors. It is based on the idea that default occurs when a company's debt exceeds the value of its assets. The Merton model uses stochastic differential equations to estimate the probability of default as a function of asset volatility and other financial parameters. Loss given default LGD is a measure to quantify the expected percentage loss in the event of default by a borrower or counterparty. It represents the difference between the nominal value of the debt and the recoverable value after default express it as a percentage of the total debt. The loss given default LGD model based on a beta distribution is an approach that models LGD using beta distribution to represent the variability of losses in the event of default. It helps to better understand and estimate the distribution of potential losses after default, taking into account various parameters such as the amount of recoverable and debt and the diversity of losses associated with assets. Exposure at default EAD is a financial measure that assesses a creditor's total exposure to a borrower at the time of default. It represents the maximum amount potentially at stake in the event of default by the borrower and includes that the total amount of debt not yet repaid counties in used credit lines and other financial commitments. When we talk about EAD, we talk also about two factors on are outstanding commitment and, uh, and commitment. Outstanding and commitment. Mental resolution analysis is a mathematical and computer-based method for breaking down and analyzing a signal or data several resolution scales. 
it highlights structure or characteristic of the signal at different scales providing a more detailed and complete view of the information contained in data. So we talk about HAR wavelet, we talk about the HAR scaling function and the HAR mother wavelet function. Where in our data, in our data, we should process about a number of observations and uh, determine the PD and the exposure at default and number of scenarios. So using Monte Carlo simulation is the standard simulation and hard wavelets to compute value at risk, VAR. So here's a graphic presentation of our data, EAD and LGD. After filtering the PD, the probability of default, the scenario is obtained. This is the rule of multi resolution analysis, which leaves the fluctuation interval very short. It's the presentation of loads using the standard method and the wavelet method. The standard method is Monte Carlo method and standard wavelet method loads by HAR. Of course, the calculation of losses using wavelets is based on the calculation of approximation coefficients. We have the difference between the computing VAR value at risk about by Monte Carlo and by her wavelets. Multi resolution analysis. Wavelets allow data to be analysis, analyzed at different scales, which can highlight important features of the signal at different resolutions. Noise reduction. Wavelets can be used to reduce noise in data by removing unwanted high frequency components in providing the accuracy of the analysis. Feature extraction. Wavelets can be used to extract important features from the data, which can be useful for detecting patterns or anomalies. Thank you for attention.